Hey guys. Hey guys. Okay, so Facebook just came out with something that's kind of cool for kids. Uh, specifically um, kids who don't have a phone or are uh, too young to have a Facebook account. They have something called Facebook Messenger for kids. Now, uh, this is new, it just launched today, and it's supposed to design, um, it's, it's designed around parents who make a list for their kids of people who uh, they can communicate so you could put yourselves in there and your mm -hmm. kid can text you with an iPad or they can uh, Do something with an iPod touch or an Android device or something like that. That's right. So yeah, this it. is what it looks like. It's called Let me show it here to the camera Facebook messenger for kids Guys so on the top it has a little message and it has a lightning bulb on it. Did you see that? <laughs> so we're gonna try That's to so we haven't done this yet, but we're gonna try to install it and then see how hard it is to set up on here, okay? So let's see. Download. So I'm downloading on an iPad. So again, you don't have to have a phone. You could have an iPad or you could have an Android device or uh, something like that to actually install it on. So I'm gonna install this on here and we're gonna see if she can message me and do something with it. So it's already got quite a few downloads. Um, something else you can do is it will not make a Facebook account for your kid. This is just giving them the ability to message you. Um, and parents and guardians use their own Facebook account to authorize their kids uh, messenger kids account and you can control their contact list so you can remove a contact at any time so they can't message anybody unless you approve it okay all right let's see here for a second so, okay hold on a second let's see okay so it's installing loading 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 Loading, loading, loading. Almost done. We're gonna try it hands on and see what it looks like. Nope, I can't see it. So this is live Wait, on Facebook. Let me, and this let, me, is... let me see if they can, let me see the iPad. Okay, it's all done. So let there's me, the iPad. I wanna see the iPad if it's done. I'm gonna click. Okay, you ready? All right, open it up. Ooh, it has slash. So I'm gonna show the camera. Mm -hmm. It has this. And then it changes real quick. It just stays on that for a while. All right, so it says, welcome uh, to Messenger for Kids, a new app that lets kids message their family and close friends. And it stands for it. Okay, get started. Get started. Okay, this part, look, it even phrases it a way. This part is for grown-ups. Before your child can use this app, you'll need to authorize this device through your Facebook account. This won't create a Facebook account for your child or give them access to your account. So what you're doing is you're just authorizing it uh, to be used. All right, let's try it. Authorize device. It's asking for your Facebook username and password. Nope, not yet. So hopefully this is like a one time process. Let's try something here. So we'll see how easy this is to set up. Okay, authorized device. Oh, okay, interesting. So what is your child's name? So ask for your child's name, okay? Let's try this. Iowa. Iowa. Write a hashtag. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Things we want to know. This is interesting. Okay. You can approve who your child can communicate with. We'll store their messages, including text, photos, videos, and audio as well as info about their contacts. Messenger Kids will also store info about the device 
where your uh, where your child uses the app and your child's app activity. This info won't be shared with others. Mm -hmm. So, a parent or guardian needs to consent to Messenger Kids collection use and do all that. So by tapping this, you agree to those terms. Those are the terms that you're agreeing to. By the way, if you even, if your kid has a phone, um, this is a way so that your kid can message without having uh, texting. You really can't control text. You really can't control texting about, about um, on a phone. Okay, here we go. We're gonna create the account. So if you don't have a phone, then you can text your mama on this. If you have any electronics or anything, you can use to type your mom and do, use this and subscribe to our video and let's get on. Okay, here's the next screen. It says allow access. So you need to allow access to your device to have notifications, photos, camera, and microphone. So you say allow and of course on iOS you get the little pop-ups every time. Okay, I'm letting all that happen. Okay, it's thinking. Wait, can I see? Okay, that, this part is for Isla. Welcome Isla, take a photo of yourself so your contacts know it's you. This is interesting. Okay, I'm gonna give this to Isla now. Do I click that? Yeah, here, hold it. This part's for you. Do I click that button? Yeah. Okay, so it's letting her take a picture of herself. Okay, click the green arrow. All right, let's see. Let's show the picture. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, now I'm going to hit the green arrow here. Choose a color to decorate your app. You can change this later. What's your favorite color? What do you what color you want to do? I like I like purple. Purple? This purple right there? Mm, yeah. Okay, continue. 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 Oh, look at this. Oh. Brett is your new so this is what it looks like. Oh, and I got a message on my phone here. It says Isla can now exchange messages with you from your Messenger Kids app. Okay, so take a look. So this shows you what it looks like, and it's very kid friendly, um, and it has me as her first contact on here. So again, you control, the parent controls who the child can text or communicate with. And there's a button here that says ask to add a contact and or take a picture. So let's try something, okay? So see this message here? Yeah. Click on that, and you could say, hey, and send it to me. And it comes right up, see? I love Thomas and hey. Isn't that cool? So that is pretty neat. So you can ask to add a contact. You I can love slide. Oh, hey. It's H, it's H-A-L-E. And look, you can take a picture. You ready to take a picture? Three, two, one. And then look, if you hit this little arrow, you can send it to me. And hit send. And now if you look up here, I'll have it on there. See? Isn't that cool? Wait, what's and look, this? you can do these different Brett faces. Brett Thomas it is um Look, so it's doing these little face things. Here, see if you can see how it Oh it says I will send a photo. Look at that. So it's doing the face things that if you guys use <laughs> Messenger, it does all that. So you can Whoop, look at that. And so I just took a picture. No, no, look, when I open it wide, look at what happens if I open my mouth wide. Yeah. Can you go back? Yeah, go, go back to it. Go back to so it. here, play around with it and sh take a picture Watch and show this. the camera. Here, pick a character. There you go. Watch this. Whoa. That is weird. All right, close your mouth. Oh, that's so creepy. So this is like a random one. So if you open your mouth, it generates it into, this could be your and then you, profile after picture. You after you open your mouth and you close it back, and that's what happens. 
Isn't that cool? So this, again, is Facebook Messenger for kids. It's controlled by parents. Most parents like have Facebook. a Facebook account. It's, it's, no, it's, it's like that with the one with the bird, um, the one with the ghost on it. Like yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. it's like that, yeah. So it's like that. So this is new. Um, it oh, allows yeah. kids to take pictures and send messages yeah. or do um, Facebook Messenger video, kind of like FaceTime or something, with their parents and uh, you approve, the parents approve of the uh, contact list. So they, they're not just communicating with random people. The only way they can communicate it is if the parent approves it. And you can approve it from your own device. So it's kind of neat. It seemed easy to set up. Um, it looks like they can do a group chat. So I'm gonna try to add Jessica in here. Hi. Let's do ask to add a contact. Hi, can you please add, oh look at this. So it even, it pro it, when you push that button, Hold on, let me get out of here. There's that, again, there's this button here that says ask to add a contact. So when I select that, it says, hi, can you please add as my contact on Messenger Kids? So I'm gonna say, Jessica. And I said sent. Now I'll have to check mine and see what that looks like. I, it looks like I was said in. Yeah, did you see that? You got I got a message when you sent it to me. Isn't that cool? Yeah. <laughs> All right, go take a picture. You want to take a picture? Oh, I, can I you wanna, take video too? If I hold it down, let's I see if I hold it down. Oh my God! Look at that one. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, look at this one. I want the, that cameras yet. We got multiple cameras here. We're doing a YouTube video and a Facebook Live video at the same time. I'm hot in this. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can take a video. Let me see if I can do a video. I'm not trying I think to get on your nerves. I'm just trying to get Oh, that's just stills. stills. Let me see if I can do video. Oh, yeah, yeah. At the bottom of the camera, which is hard to see. Let me see if I can show it. It says... Gallery, photo, or video. So if I tap video, now my shutter becomes a red record button. So you can still do the same, looks like you can do the same character stuff, but now you can do it with video. So let's do this one, you ready? Look at that. <laughs> oh, it wants you to rotate it. Oh, you're catching butterflies or something. That's so weird. All right, let's see what that looks like. That's pretty cool. So then you can say send, and you can send it to me, and say send. Isn't that cool? The sending piece looks a lot like... Wait, I want, wait, I want to, I want to do this one. That's the one where you catch it. Look at this one, what's that one? Is that a dog? Maybe that's a man. Oh, you're scuba diving. I mean, that was a that's man. That's cool. Oh, can I go back and do Yeah, here you go, let me do photo. There you go, take okay. some more pictures. Okay. Do photo. But that's photo. Yeah, P-H. O-T-O. O-T-O. Oh, no, uh, it that. control, yeah, it control, so question uh, from Nina, it controls uh, contacts. So you can set, you can't send something to somebody else. So if you give your kid a phone uh, and it has a phone number, they really have, you have re really no control over who they can send a picture to mm -hmm. or, or um, okay. messages or anything. Okay. I see it, that's watch cool, it. it's like a T-Rex, take a picture. This. Whoa, that is scary. Take a picture of it and I'll show it. All right, let's see what that one looks like. It's like a T-Rex. Ah. So, um, yeah, you can control who, as a Can parent, you can... Go yeah, go ahead. You can draw on it. Oh. Um, Rainbow. So it makes it fun for kids to be able to do it, and they can message your parents, and you don't have to give them a phone with a phone number. You can give it an old phone that just gets on Wi-Fi and they can still send you messages. How do you erase this? Uh, there's an undo button. See that arrow? 
Yeah. Yep. Keep going backwards. There you go. So pretty cool. Uh, I think I like it. Uh, and I think uh, we're gonna test it out some more, but it looks like it's a pretty big hit. Um, and to the fact that you can control who gets, um, who your kid can see and send messages to and do a video chat with, it seems um, pretty nice. And you don't have to, they kind of got it figured out because if you have an iPhone and you're in the, I, the iCloud sphere you have to make accounts for each individual person and then you have to um, make sure that they're not syncing with your accounts and it ends up being a mess this seemed pretty simple to set up and uh, I think that they uh, oh that's cool you want to show what she did yeah so she did a t-rex and then she wrote my name her name with the finger and then she can send that to somebody so what we're gonna do is say check mark Send, and then it gives you the option who to send it no, to. No, I want to send it to Nene. Oh, look, I think ne I think uh, Nanny's coming on. Let's see if she wants to. I've never done that before. Let's see if we can add her as a guest. Let's see if it works. Isn't that cool? It says I I look at a photo. We have to add her as a um, have to add her as a contact. So what you can do is on here, you can say I w I want to request a contact. Hey. Hey guys. Hey, you're on our live stream. How about that? So we're showing. This is new. It's called Facebook Messenger for Kids. I see. And so what we can do Hi. is you can add a person uh, on here that a parent approves and you can message them. So you can message me now, Isla? Yeah. Or send me a message. Okay, we will. Okay. I'm gonna send you an, I'm gonna send you a scary message. Yeah, no, I'm gonna send you a funny message. Okay, send me a funny message. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, well, we'll test it out. Okay. Alright, bye. Anyway, so um, so yeah, this is pretty cool. So here, if she wants a video with chat with me, she can do the video thing, or she can do that. Very cool, right, Isla? Yeah. Yeah, it's the end. Okay, hey, we're gonna. Hey guys, so if you want to go on this street, just comment down below on our video and go to Pineline Street, which is where you. Kids have, is gonna have literally so much fun with this if they do it all by themselves. Like, literally, no help, I can do this. So, if you wanna check this out, then I think it's on any Pine Line Street. So, if you wanna check this out, go Facebook to your iPad or any electronics and surf. Comment down below, get started, get working at it. If you don't have time. And again, we just reviewed Facebook Messenger for kids just released so you guys go watch this we're gonna put it on youtube too so you guys can see it all right all right we'll see you guys next time bye